Good afternoon and welcome to Yes! Dimitri is well. Kitchen! Great start, eh? So welcome to Dimitri's Kitchen. So today I am going to do a kind of nutty vegetarian pie. And the reason I'm doing this is for my dear friend Susan in Texas. Hello, Susan. Wow, she'll be talking like that down in Texas. She lives as a bad Texan accent, I'm sure you can tell me. So for my Susan, who I've known since I was, what is it, Susan? 18, 17? I can't remember. But uh, for you and Sophia in Chelsea, my friend Sophie, uh, who's a um, fantastic artist. So, I'm just going to get to the camera and show you the ingredients. So, uh, one thing to remember guys is always preheat your oven. So I've got the oven at 200 C, so always remember to do that. Right, we have flour, a mixture of a plain flour and wholemeal flour. Uh, it's bread flour, uh, if you don't know what that is. So you need about 12 ounces mixed, you know, combination of both on that. You need... Half a pint of water, I believe that's 284 mil, I think. You need hazelnuts, so we've got an ounce of hazelnuts there, which I'm going to chop. You don't have to use hazelnuts, you can use walnuts, Brazil nuts, I wouldn't use pecan nuts for to be too strong. We have here uh, three tablespoons of flour, that's going to be used as a thickening agent for the interior, the sauce. We have six ounces of margarine to obviously to go with the flour. We have three ounces of uh, strong cheddar. I would usually use um, Stilton, but my wife doesn't like Stilton, so it's just mature cheddar. We have six ounces, nine ounces, I apologize, nine ounces of mushrooms. Now they're chestnut mushrooms. You can use what mushrooms you desire. A bunch of spring onions or scallions <laughs> and three sticks of celery we have here one whisked egg that's going to be to glaze the uh, pie so we have a, a 10 inch um, pie dish or flan whatever you use as you can see I've greased it so if you don't know what greasing a flan dish means it means getting some silver foil or baking paper, dip it in margarine and just wiping around to make it so the pie doesn't stick. And one bowling pin for later. Uh, okay, I'll be back with you in a sec. So, right, so I've chopped the, around, so I've chopped the onions, spring onions and the celery. We're going to add those to the frying pan first and the reason why we're doing that is because they take longer to cook. So that's that. Mushrooms are chopped. I've grated the cheese and obviously the hazelnuts. So I'm going to add to the frying pan. Um, I've used olive oil. You can use vegetable oil. I wouldn't use sesame oil because it would be too, too strong. Rapseed oil. You could use that, I suppose. Um, but again, this is a vegetarian meal. Uh, not a vegan. I am not going to do any vegan meals. I apologize to any vegans out there. Um, anyway, that was enough, like so. Is everybody planning for their summer holidays? I don't, know if we're, I don't know if we're going to go away this year, because a lot of work needs doing on the house, so I think all our money is going to go on that this year, but that's okay, we've just spent two years in lockdown, <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, do follow me on um, Facebook, you know, Dimitri Turin, uh, Dimitri is D-E-M-E-T-R-I, Dimitri, Turin as in the Stroud, T-U-R-I-N, so I'm on Facebook, there's Dimitri's World on YouTube, I haven't done anything on it for a while, mind you, but uh, you're free to, uh, welcome to uh, join. Right, um, what else was I going to say? The, what, what are the wonderful, one of the wonderful things about this dish is the most expensive part of it is the hazelnuts. 
But once you pull those, and you know, they come in packets, so the dish is going to cost you about 150 to make. That's all it's going to take you, make you, cost you. <laughs> so, you know, if, you, if, uh, if we're, you know, struggling for a little bit of money, if it's a good recipe, you know, then you only have to add maybe mashed potato, you know, a bit of veg to go with it. That's in, up to you entirely. So we're going to cook that for a couple, well, two or three minutes. Add the mushrooms because they don't take so long. Another minute, then we're going to add some flour. Why do we add the flour? To thicken the pie, or well, not the inside. So. So, so you do the same if you do a steak and kidney pie, steak and ale pie, any type of pie you make, then you do that. Uh, you could uh, actually, this is um, water, you could use milk if you wanted, uh, it'd be a richer pie for it, but it, it's a cost effective dish today. So here we are, doing this. I drink, I drank last night, but I wasn't. On a motorbike in the sea, on the bottom of the sea, on a motorbike going underwater. So uh, we often laugh, my wife and I laugh sometimes, is the one who flew over the cuckoo's nest, you know, uh, Jack Nicholson, where he drives the whole pit people in front of me. It's a, a sad film, but a, a funny film with Wade. Uh, that's going to be the end. Uh, it's going to be the loony bin making the loonies more loony. And then <laughs> so that's, as you see, that's drying nicely. Never, when you're drying, never put it too high. Obviously, but not too low, but don't put your temperature on your hob too high or your gas too high because you just burn things that way. Don't want to do that. Okay? Be playing in the background. I don't know if you can hear it. Uh, sunny outside, cold but sunny. Um, yeah. So now I'm going to add the said mushrooms. Cook for a further couple of minutes. Favorite cartoon. Now you're going to ask me what line is. I don't know. Uh, I think my favourite cartoon was probably Scooby Doo, the original Scooby Doo. I guess, you know, I'm being nostalgic, obviously. Uh, I think that was my favourite cartoon. Uh, or, or my brother just reminded me of the Wacky Races the other day, uh, which is, I just love that. Um, my brother also likes John. You like John, my brother, by the way. You like Hong Kong Fui. I don't know if that's your favourite, but you like Hong Kong Fui. I also like, you know the Pink Panther show when he, he used to come in that car and get out of the car and he had his special clues over and uh, it was, that was really good. I enjoyed that. But I like a lot of these things uh, when they modernise it. Same with you know, Scooby Doo when they add Scrappy to They ruined it. Oh. The Lauren Hardy show. So, for the first time in ooh, years, I'm without the motorbike, we're going to have to sort that out. Not good. So, what I'm going to do now, so we're going to add the three, and I'm going to need three tablespoons of flour into this. And then we're going to slightly turn down the temperature. It's going to cook. So you can see that. That's what it looks like. So this is the reason why we add the flour in at the moment is we're coating the uh, the veg. Okay. So it'd be the same if you're doing uh, a beef pie. You'd be we put flour in to coat it. Okay. Now I'm going to add the half pint of water. Okay. Or 
185 mil fluid. I'm turning up, and what's going to happen to that is I'm going to bring that, bring it to the boil, let it simmer for a few seconds. Then you add the hazelnuts. Thank you, hazelnuts. So I'll be back with you in a second. Show you that bit, and then it's on to baking the flour. I mean pastry. I need to get more sleep. Just so you guys don't know, I don't sleep very much. It's just I suffer from insomnia, so and madness, and yeah. So I'm going to show you. That's what it should look like. It's just kind of a creamy looking, not creamy creamy, but that's what it looks like. So I'm going to add the hazelnuts. It's a, it's a really simple and easy to make dish. The hardest part to make is the flour. I keep saying flour, the pastry, funny enough. Or, or the, the, not the hard, well it is hard, it is, yes. Uh, so I've added the hazelnuts, a bit of salt, and some pepper. You can now add other herbs if you like, and mixed herbs, spices, you know, whatever you choose to get a bit, a bit of a zing and zang. But right, we're doing a simple version now. And maybe I'll do a steak and oil type for you. Oh, I have done a steak and oil type, you know. Don't worry. So make sure your pastry mix, okay? Remember, six ounces of plain flour, six ounces of wholemeal flour. Make sure you put a sprinkle of salt in there as well, please. Don't forget to do that. So what I'm gonna do now is we just mix that all together. Let it cool down while we're making the pastry. Okay? Live it long and prosper! No, I haven't had a dragon. <laughs> uh, I put that there. One moment, Tito, please. So, here we have the. Uh, always seem to say so before everything. I just noticed that. I said say something else like, like butter. And now. <laughs> uh, now we're going to do. The pastry. So you have your flour mix, add your butter, margarines, excuse me, and then we're gonna we knead it together. We call it knead, K-N-E-A-D, kneading, knead. They knead it all together, and add if if it feels dry, you know, uh, then just add a little bit of water to it. Otherwise, it gets soggy. You don't get soggy either. So I'm just gonna knead all that back to you, and then get back. I don't need that, thank you. Ah, it's because I haven't had a drink. Ha! There we go. The best way, I said so again. My God. The best way of doing this is just getting the flour in between your hand. And it's almost like making bread for us. That's what you want your texture to look like. So you just keep rubbing it together like that. So let's begin. I'm going to show you, beginning to look a bit like that. We can see it looks a little bit dry. So, we're going to. So. I'm going to add a little bit of water. And hence, a little bit of water. Just a sprinkle. I'm looking at my. Uh, the female cat is sitting at the door, looking at the bowl, going, yeah, give me something. I'm not going to, because he's had enough. You know what animals are like? Humans, <laughs> like humans, don't they? Put food in front of us, and they're wow. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a terrible foodie, I really am. Uh, so yes, yesterday, my wife went and I went on a drive through the countryside. Um, we try and find a pub you can get food on on a Sunday over here that isn't booked anymore because of COVID and everybody's going out at the moment. It's impossible. Um, but um, so eventually, after about three pubs, we, we found a, a, a pub and the menu. <laughs> and the menu in this pub was quite bland to say, the, to say the least so we we bought a 
all of the ploughmans, if you don't know what a ploughman is, it's, it's a cheese ball with crackers and uh, spring, spring onions, no, uh, go. pickled onions, thank you, uh, it's pickled onions, and you know, for a, and various bits and pieces, we had one of those and a bowl of chips each, so that was quite, quite enough, but then, then after, you know, uh, I had a glass of wine each, only one, because I'm driving. And then uh, we decided, uh, or my wife decided, it wouldn't be a good idea if I cooked when I went home. Nicely, to be honest, not ordered. So I, I did kind of a chicken in wine sauce wrapped in bacon. And I also did you know, potato bracken and some vegetables. And then we had another, and then we shared uh, a bottle of wine. So. <laughs> You know, went to bed quite mer mer merry and stuffed. Could we don't need all that food really, but it was most enjoyable. Um, anyway, it's Sunday, truth. I mean, obviously, we work so hard, don't we, with these days? So, uh, what the hell? I'm not sure we'd be forgiven. You know I mean, we're going to care what we go in. So, exit, there's my ball of pastry. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, so two, say about just over half for the, uh, for the lining. I've got my rolling pin ready. Now put some, I would put a bit of flour on the surface so it doesn't stick to the surface. And if you feel it's still a bit dry, don't be afraid to you know, pick it back up and just do it, you know, add some more water. Yeah, that's the thing with any ability, but the thing with, with cooking, if you feel, you know, just, just take a moment, backtrack, take a deep breath, and, and think what you might be doing wrong, and rectify it. So if, if it's burnt, you can't rectify that many things, unless you do another dish. And then, this is how you get your pastry on your roller, do it like this. Remember, grease your flan dish, or your pie dish, whatever you want to call it. So tuck it in gently, yeah? Don't. So make sure you lift the sides a bit when you do that so it doesn't tear uh, or you don't put your fingers in a, in a hole or make a hole inside, okay? So then, knife, just cut around the edge. My, my, my brother often says, if you're doing a cookery show, what are you waffling on about Ukraine or, or, uh, <laughs> or whatever I waffle on about? It's the way I am, brother, can't help it. So, so I said so again. My God, I need help. Turn that to there. So, wow. So now, I, so now I'm going to put this on the, add the pie mixture, okay? Because you can see that. I imagine we all have a word we use quite a lot, don't we? Mine is obviously so. Right. Now that is what it looks like now. I hope you can see that. I'm now going to sprinkle the cheese on top, okay? And even though I've said three ounces of cheese, you don't have to have, you can add more if you want, doesn't really matter. Um, and like I said, 
I'm using, a, as I said, a strong, strong, extra strong cheddar. But, again, Stilton would just give it that mm. And if you don't like Stilton, like my wife, of course. Now, let me actually move this. I'm not sure if you can see that entirely. Let me just come behind the camera. Let me just lift it quickly. So, and that is what it looks like on the inside. Okay, putting the camera back. So put this to one side. And now we're going to do the lid. Now make sure, I'll show you in a minute, before you put the lid on your case, you moisten that with water, the edge with water. So it sticks basically. So I've rolled out the lid. So? So I've rolled out the lid. <laughs> oh, what the hell? So, so, so. The lid is rolled out. I'm now wetting the outside edge of the casing. As, as I said. <laughs> and now I'm going to use this to glaze. This one. And now, you can see I'm pinching around. Fancy a cigar. So I don't smoke, by the way, you people. I don't care if you do or don't, it doesn't matter, it's your choice. Um, and I've got nothing against it, so that's not a judgment call either. You have to be so careful these days. Uh, but I do like a cigar now and then. I do. Like I said, we're all going to die. <laughs> this, is, this is my negative positive cookery program. <laughs> so that's that. And we're going to do the same as before. Cut the edge. many moons ago in Cornwall, which I love. Um, so I don't, think, I don't think I want to do a restaurant again, but I wouldn't mind doing a, a, like a cafe or something like that, a small 40 cover bistro cafe. But there's so many rules and regulations now, it seems, you know, especially with allergens, and for, you know, they're finding it hard to, two reasons to find chefs at the moment. One is because they pay chefs crap money now after all that training they have to do. And for a chef, you have to do so much work with health and safety uh, protocols, uh, allergen things, and, and, and a test for almost everything. It's just ridiculous. You know? I've never been poisoned in my life. Anyway, so I've got a bit of that. So what I'm doing now is I've got a bit of And if I've got enough. So again, don't be afraid to make extra amount of pastry if you want to just get your measurements right. What I'm doing now is, and it's quite enough to just to create I'm going to have to use a big knife, whatever. So I'm going to uh, create a leaf. Let me just do that and then I Now that's, I'm cutting out a leaf, it's not um, the best. I'll show you in a minute what it looks like. Right, I've cut that leaf out. Yeah, hopefully there'll be enough for maybe three. First though, I'm going to glaze the pie. So you've got your egg which you've whisked. And you cover generously the pie. You want that lovely kind of glowy glaze or kind of what do they call it? Shiny glaze, I can't remember now. Marble like, whatever. Right. So, if that is. 
And then I'm going to with one. So I'm going to grow the berry. So it's like the leaves are coming from a berry. So you've got a nice little ball in the middle. And then I'm going to cut another leaf here. Taken the camera off the thing, oven, pie, remember 200 degrees Celsius. Let's uh, lift that. Pie going in the oven, and you put it in there for approximately 40 minutes, okay? So just keep your eye on it, but 40 minutes should do it, okay? So I, it's, it's 2.50 here, so half past three, it will be ready. There we go, guys. Um, so this is the second one I've actually made. Um, and there we go. That's what it looks like at the end. The end product. So do give it a go. Make it. Um, and serve it as suggested. Um, you could also do... You could saute. You could get some new potatoes. And uh, par cook them. Then saute them in ginger and butter. That would be very nice. Alright. Enjoy. Enjoy.